Scandinavia and Germany combined is a woman who holds a mirrored player in this game and I'll try to defeat whichever player who ends up taking over it. But first of all, let's take over Italy and I'll take over it for one. Let's go. Let's split those throws like that, guys, and wow, my spawn couldn't have been any better. Next, I have to send alliance requests to every each of those players, guys, this is what I'm going to do. And hopefully they're not going to break from me, guys. Right, where the black player goes for France, a thumbs up for orange and pink players each. Right, where the black player will be waiting for another turn, guys, which is good for me. Basically, I'm only, I'm only the only person who got a continent yet. Right, where, yes, please attack my territory if you need to. Right, where, I assume you want to attack this one troop territory. You do not want to break through Italy. So I do not care about that. So right, well, the orange player will be waiting for another turn, guys. Which might be a smart choice, guys. Basically, next turn, he'll be guaranteed taking over the Russian Empire. Let's see, right, where the white player could actually take over one border Scandinavia immediately. Guys, if I was him, I would definitely do so. And right, where he didn't accept my land's request, guys, so something what I do not like too much. Finally, where will be the pink player's turn, guys, if I was him, what would I do? I could either go for Southeastern Europe or Spain. I would consider between those if I was the pink player. In Spain, he would be next to black, but far away from white. Well, right, where if he could take over Southeastern Europe, at first he wouldn't be next to anyone, but right where eventually the white player would go right there, guys. So that's a double-edged sword. Let's see, right, well, the pink player doesn't take over Spain in turn 1, guys. He'll be waiting. Man, troops by me. Could go for Iceland, but I think it's better if the white player potentially goes for it, guys, so he would be behind black. On the other hand, it's right where I go for the Nara Cups, guys, the black. Means the white player could break through me anyways. Hmm. Should I go for North Africa, then? North Africa would actually be interesting, guys. Yeah, so let's add more troops right there. Let's add more troops over there, too, guys. And yes, basically, I'm taking over North Africa now, guys, even though right there it's blue. Let's go. And let's wipe out the white players. Territories from over there too, guys. 100% blitzes. Here we go. When it comes to the Nara Cups, guys, I do not want to take over them because if a white player expands to Germany, then he would basically be forced to break through me. Alright, so the black player adds more troops to France, guys. He'll finally take over it. Nice. Well played. Now, right where it a lot depends on the white player, guys. What will the white player decide to do? As you could either drastically increase my chances to win or drastically decrease my chances to win. On the other hand, he might play neutrally, guys. Yes, I think he'll either break through me, guys, or just play neutrally overall. I'll be either just fine or not in that good position, right? Where it depends a lot by it. The orange player will actually take over the Russian Empire, guys. Right, please blitz those three troops of the white player. Right, where the black player that sets my lance request, guys, let's send him a thumbs up. Basically, I do not want to go into a war with anyone, guys, because right there, if I attack somebody, guys, when other players will see me being as a big threat, guys, basically, all of them will team up on me. The black player wants me to attack orange, well, nuts, not going to attack anyone right now. So, unless that person might attack me, but otherwise, I do not think I'm attacking anyone at this point. Let's see what you could easily expand to Iceland. If you want another option for you would be, obviously, Jared. Germany. Three troops by pink. The pink player so far is the only person who hasn't taken over anything yet. Myself, I would be kinda actually tempted breaking core orange, but then if white and black players team up on me, then my position would be miserable. So not going to do that. Right, where could easily take over the Nordic Alps and Southeastern Europe combined, but I would be kinda too greedy. So not going to do that, guys. I think I'll just simply go for one of them. And which one should I go for? It means if I take over the Nordic Alps, basically I cut off the white player from the rest of the players. In this case, I want to take over Southeastern Europe, I think. Right, let's go right where guys will basically be properly guarding all of the borders right there. Let's go, will be the final blitz right there guys. And here we go. Right, let's fortify to this North African border. Eight troops by black. The black player could expand to the British Empire on Iceland combined guys. He definitely has great chances to do that. If I was him, this is what I would do. Especially wiping out white. Because I do not think any other player would go for those holes anymore. Let's see, will he continue? Well, it's better for me if he continues 
This expansion very slowly, guys. Basically, I want to be the player who receives the most of troops a turn. So, well, troops by orange. The orange player could easily expand to other Denari Cups or Eastern Europe, depending on his priority, guys. And if I was him, I would just simply expand to Eastern Europe. Eastern Europe gives more troops. It's plus 8. Plus, basically, he doesn't cut off anyone right there. Right, well, 5. Right, 4 versus 2 rats. I was hoping he might fail with Blitz, guys, but he does not. You know, right there, in this case, I do not think I want to take over the Nari Cups anymore, guys, because I would cut off white and I would cut off orange. Right, a thumbs up. I mean, a heart for the orange player, guys. I'm, I'm going to stay being loyal to orange. All right, where I think I want to expand to orange, guys, and right where. Not, not going to leave it for orange for sure, guys. Let's see if the white player is against this army. Will he be still playing passively, guys? Right there tries capturing this territory, but fails. So captures a territory in the British Empire instead. Three troops by pink, guys. So far, what has he even been doing, guys? What has he even been doing, guys? He doesn't even hold anything, guys. Let's see. Well, hopefully he doesn't break from North Africa, guys. On the other hand, he knows what if he does that, I could easily retaliate back and might even... Well, for the most part, basically make him barely alive, guys, with only... Few troops and territories left. Nine no, troops by me. I'm going to add them right there, guys. And yes, before the orange player expanded to orient himself, I'm basically going to take over orient myself right there, guys. Let's do it. Let's blitz those troops right there, guys. Yes, and I'm going to fortify my army right there, guys. So in case the orange player breaks through me, then I could retaliate to him back. Seven troops by black. Let's see if the black player's expansion is super slow, guys. It's super, super slow, but right there she should finish taking over the British Empire and Iceland combined for sure, guys. If he doesn't do that, guys, then I'm not sure what is he even doing with this game. Let's see, all right. Finally finishes taking over this two border hold. Let's see where will he fortify his troops. If next to my border, then I know he doesn't trust me, guys. Right, okay, next to my border, guys, he doesn't trust me. Otherwise, if he trusted me, then he would have fortified to Gascony. So right where I shouldn't be surprised if a black player betrays me, guys. I should be prepared for better. It's where the orange player strengthens this borders, guys. Okay, strengthens his three borders. Let's see if he breaks through me or not. He can take over the Nara Cups if he wants, but does not. Six troops by white. Right where I'll stop X. Bandon gas right where I'll just simply be with those holes because those holes, those holes are super greedy already. Three troops by pink. I mean, if I could eliminate orange, should I do that? The white and black players doesn't seem to be as strong, but once we would end up holding those holes, guys. Let's see if a pink player attack my territory if you need to. Yes, you can definitely do that. I kind of wanted you to wipe out the orange player from Tunisia, actually. Hmm. 27 troops by me. I have as many troops as orange and either black or white combined. So basically, I cannot afford fighting them all. Yes, so what I'm going to do is to add more troops right there, guys, and I'm going to wipe out a white player from this territory. But I'm not taking over the Nara Cups, guys. 13 troops by black. He should expand to Spain. Trades in an 8 troop set, guys. Let's see what will he do. Right, yes. Add more troops. Next to Spain, guys. Wipes out the white player from over there, guys. And could the white player be the first player to be eliminated from the game, guys? It will either be white or pink. Yes. I mean, is a black player even going for the pink player right now? Probably not. It wouldn't be worth for the cards at all, guys. This card value right there. Right, we'll be playing the text card, guys. But yeah, basically, wouldn't be worth to eliminate him either way. Okay, I think he'll fortify next to my border, right? Yes, but let's see how many troops. So right, well, he runs out of time, I guess. So only one troop. It's when it throws by orange. Let's see what will orange player do. Right, adds more troops to the Nara Cups, guys. Will he take over them or will he just simply take over one troop territory, guys? So right, well, takes over them. Yeah, so he fortifies those troops to the locked place, guys, which is huge. Which is huge. Let's see what about white if he ends up taking over one pawn hall, guys. Then I might eliminate him from the game. I'm kind of considering. What should I do, guys? Right, but... Yeah. Three troops by pink. I assume the black player would base his troops on the pink player, guys. So I think in this case, I should wait till the black player eliminates 
pink or something, guys? Yes. And to be honest, see what can I do next, guys. Right? It's better be. Pink player ends up wiping out orange from West Africa. Let's go. Alright, a thumbs up. Let's be friends, pink. At least I want to still eliminate you. I want the black player to eliminate you. 25 troops by me. Let's add more troops right there, guys. If I want to attack a territory, I'll attack a territory of black. Let's trade in a set. 29 troops. I'm getting super strong, guys. Let's blitz this. And it will be it. 18 troops by black. Let's see what will he do. Could technical break from me, guys. But hopefully he wipes out a pink player from West Africa. Making this mistake, guys. And then I would see if I can't dominate this game. Yes. Alright, so... Just not guaranteed if he wipes out Pengas, but I think he might do that. Yes, I think he wants to eliminate Pengas, and with that misplay, I might win the game, guys. I might win the game, I'll see what other players do. Because right there, for example, I see the orange player just keeps locking his army, guys. He just keeps locking it. So, for example, if I can eliminate black or and white, the orange player's army is low, guys, basically win the game. Let's see, alright, well, the pink player is eliminated, guys, and uh, black player won't be able to trade in a set in the same turn, because he's not at 5 cards. Alright, he stops, what will he do? At least was just like that, guys, 25 troops by orange. Technically, the orange player could break from me and ruin my chances to win, guys. Let's see if he ends up attacking white. I'll tell him to attack white. Alright, key, uh, key, yes. Add more troops to the startling position, guys. For troops. Let's see, what do I do in this situation? If the white player ends up locking his army, guys, I could break through orange through this way right there and... Well, it's not enough troops for me to neutralize black guys. Right where my army is not accessible to go that way. Let's see what does. The white player do guys, he doesn't take over this hold. 25 troops by me. Yeah, unfortunately my troops are not set up in a good way. But I could eliminate white if I want, for example. But when orange... And black players will team up on me, guys, right? But I mean, I think I want to progress the game, guys. I think I want to progress the game. So I'm still going to do it, guys. I'm going to eliminate the white player from the game. Let's do it for the sake of progressing the game, guys. Let's do it. Right, good game, the orange player says. Right, let's read in a set. Right, attack orange. Yes, a thumbs up. Okay, well, let's actually put those troops this way. Let's actually put those troops this way, guys, because I... Otherwise, the orange player ends up taking over Orient and Southeastern Europe combined. Let's see right where I expect both of the players teaming up on me, guys. But I don't want this game to be in a stalemate. Keep black, attack my territory if you need to. He might take over this wampum hole from me, guys. But yeah, basically cannot do anything better, guys, right where those players might attack. Yeah, right. 20 troops by orange. Let's see what will he do. Right, is that a single trip territory, guys? He might take Orient from me, right? A thumbs up and a heart. Now let's put more troops right where, guys. Alright, attack black. Yes, I would love to do that, but how do I do that? How do I do that? Right, where if a black player unleashes, unleashes my army, then I might be able to do that, guys. But right, where if a black player will expand to Italy, it seems which is good, guys, because right, where if a black player taking Italy from me, I do not think the orange player would be as willing to attack me. Or I mean, it could go both ways, guys, it could even encourage him to attacking me. So hard to see, but right, where if a black player keeps attacking if he takes over Alps? Yes, attack my territory if you need to. Yes, a thumbs up. Right, where I just want him to unleash my army, guys. And then let's see what can I do. Let's see, well, attack black, right, where if you attack black, I attack a black player as well, I guess, on the, other, on the other hand, let's see what... Okay, well, the black player properly guards both of the borders, guys. Yes, so right, where the black player actually gets some advantage, guys. I mean, let's see if the orange player ended up wasting all of the troops he has gotten in the western, guys, to... into the black player, guys, I could do something, but right, where he decides to not be doing much, for sure. Yes, so right, where will you just have to continue waiting, I guess? 27 troops by me, right? Where I'm the strongest player in this game still, guys, which is a good thing. Let's put more troops right there. Let's take over this right where I want to keep the orange player's army locked. Let's see, 24 troops by black. Trades in a new troop set. What would he do? What would he do, guys? Hmm. Right where I'm looking to see if any of those players makes a slight misplay, which would let me of taking the advantage, guys, but right where I do not think that will it be the case or will it? Right where the black player do not think the black player trusts me, guys, and right where the orange player keeps 
Armin South Russia, guys. Alright, well, the black player actually breaks through the orange player, guys. Nice. Nice in this case, I think. Yeah, it's where I think I should work with black, guys, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, okay, well, the black player has definitely increased my trust in him, guys. Let's see what does the orange player do. Will he break through me? Add some more troops. Right, where trades in a ton trap set, guys? Let's see. I mean, will I be able to win if the orange player crushes that worth the 5 troop army? Guys, yes, let's go. Let's see, it seems I have as many troops combined as the black and orange players do, guys. Let's see, it's 26 troops. Yeah, I think I should attack both of them at once, guys, right? Yes. Yes, let's add more troops right there. I mean, all of them are not. A3, okay, wouldn't be enough to eliminate them. Him? Okay, well, I'll play like this, guys, I think. Let's break through the orange player right there. Let's go, let's see, right, so far good blitzes, guys, I didn't expect it, but I'm like even on top eliminating orange, wow, such a good blitzes, guys. Yes! We eliminate the orange player from the game, guys, let's go. Let's trade on a set, right, where I think I'll just simply blitz the black player's army, guys, let's go, right, good attacker's advantage over there as well. Let's split those troops, guys, let's take over this one pawn hold for ourselves. Let's basically break through. Spin and West Africa as well, guys. Let's go. Right, good game, good game. Well played. Let's fortify my 4 troop army right there. 5 troops, okay, well, that was unexpected, guys, but right there. The black player's attack to break through orange and the orange player's retaliation attack has basically given all the chances for me to win. Along with good dice, guys, right there, I have total domination on over the black player. Let's see, yeah, basically the black player is not able to do much. Right where he connects those territories, so that's appreciated. Black, thank you for making it easier to eliminate you from the game. Let's trade on a set, 65 troops. Right, yeah, I'll, I'll just simply add those troops right there, guys, right there too. So basically we'd be able to eliminate the black player in a straight line, guys. Let's go. Let's do it, right, well, we'll have to make a single troop split, but that's fine. A heart for the black player, good game. Well played, the last territory, and that's a GG, guys, what a game that was. Mavis and three beginners.